lesson for today. Uh, we need to prepare for the next segment of the project by learning how to create wall assemblies. Okay, because what I'm handing you is going to be an actual construction document set. I'm going to teach you how to read them and then we're going to create the actual assemblies off of that set. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to kind of ballpark it here and I'm going to show you a little bit about how to um, create patterns and stuff within the material you're choosing. So um, Right off the bat, uh, do you guys all know what siding is, right? The siding on a building and how it's represented in an architectural drawing. Raise your hand if you'd like a refresher. Okay, so siding, if I can find my marker, is basically your exterior walls like this and your siding is going to be like a, a lap. It's either gonna be a lap siding like that or it's going to be sort of a profile siding with like a little clip, right? Um, something like that and then anyway so you get the idea right it's these kind of linear things that are going across the building so if you look at it in ISO it's going to be like this right so the pattern architecturally is a linear pattern like that all right so um, without further ado I want to show you guys how to actually set one of those up the out-of-the-box Revit software may or may not I don't recall what its standard wall types are um, but Let's uh, open that up and take a look. It might have something like that. So um, as you scroll down or up or down, you'll see a couple of things. First, um, they're all listed alphabetically and they're all um, categorized by the type, like the, the Revit, out, um, I forget what the category type is called, but it says basic wall. That's really important. Um, so these are assemblies. They're exterior wall assemblies. As mm -hmm. you, as you um, switch through each one of these, let's go to the first one, right? Exterior brick on um, CMU on metal stud. Okay, you don't really see anything yet. It might be backwards actually, that wall. I think it is, my wall is flipped. Okay, so we're gonna um, open the first floor plan as well. And I wanna show you something real quick, okay? So the way that that wall set, um, was drawn it was actually drawn with the exterior face of that wall on the inside. Okay, that's really important to know about wall types is that they have an interior and exterior face. Um, so when you click on that wall, you'll see this little arrow button that, that pops up. That's a flip button. You can flip it back and forth. So you can just click that and that exterior wall will show up out here. Okay, so that's like one of the pre-made Revit wall types. Okay, it's rather detailed, um, but we're not going to really work with that. What we're going to work with is something that's a little bit more simple, and um, we'll modify it from there. So I think actually I'm going to just go back. So let's go back to the normal wall. Um, I'm going to flip it so it's outside, and let's completely create a new wall type. Okay, and I'm not going to worry about, um, at this stage, I'm not going to worry about vapor barriers and stuff like that. That's too technical for us right now. But let's modify this 8-inch wall. Um, if you go to the edit type button in the top left, it'll bring up the type properties menu. <clears throat> in the type properties menu, um, it looks rather, um, I guess, complex, but really simple because there are only a few options. Um, what we need to modify is the construction of this wall. So we go to um, construction and structure and we hit edit. So in this menu, this is where you're going to build all of your wall assemblies, essentially. Um, so the way that it's broken down, and I know it's, it's really hard with a projector to see the text, unfortunately, um, but this says um, structure and category, uh, or uh, sorry, um, function, material, thickness, and then some other properties that we'll talk about when it becomes necessary. But anyway, what the, the way that this works is it says core boundary, structure, and then core boundary. Okay, every wall in Revit has a core, which is the structural element of that wall. And then it has everything that happens off of the core. So basically your, your finishings, okay? So um, if we need to add a layer, right now this is just generic structure, okay? We need to say that this wall is a metal stud wall or wood stud wall or whatever it's going to be. In this case, it'll be wood. So when you click in that by category there, there's this little button that pops up on the right. It's super duper tiny. It doesn't tell you anything like pick a new material or anything like that. You have to just click the button and know. Um, and that brings up the material menu. 
the material menu of anything in Revit lags the most. So, and it also showed up over there. So this is your material menu, okay? So under material, we clicked in the by category little button and it brings up this right here. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna go over all of the material properties at this moment. We're gonna use the out of the box ones for a while and eventually I'll get to the point of teaching you these. So I mentioned that we're going to change our structure to wood stud. So really that wood stud isn't a family, it's a material. The family is really just the volume that's created by the core. So I'm gonna type in wood or I'll just type in stud, it's probably easier that way. Of course, we get a metal stud layer, but no wood stud letter, layer. Um, wood. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's just begin with one of these wood ones. So I'm going to go with soft wood lumber, um, and I'm going to give you your first shot at changing the material. So I'm going to right click and go to duplicate. And then um, within that element, we're going to rename that to wood stud. And then you can just click and it'll accept it. So when you click that, click OK. And you've got your structure is wood stud, and those wood studs are 8 inches. Any questions so far? Yeah, um, so you go in here and you right click and you go to duplicate, you just name it whatever you need to name it and then just okay, okay, okay to get out of the menu. Okay, and then you hit okay. Um, oh, sorry, stay in the uh, structure menu. Okay, so um, we will talk about this a little bit more um, in the future, but I just wanna show you um, like a, a simple exterior wall. Generally speaking, the exterior wall is going to have um, gypsum board on the inside and then it's going to have a layer of plywood sheathing on the outside and then whatever your cladding is going to be on the on the outside of that so um, we need to insert a few layers and organize it like that so let's hit let's hit insert three times and then we're going to move the elements to their proper position so notice how here up top it says exterior side and then below it says interior side that is incredibly important. So one of these, if you um, just hit down enough so that you get one layer on the interior side, that's gonna be your gypsum layer. And then you're gonna take the other two and you're gonna move them up so that they're outside of the core boundary above. Okay, so is that clear how that works? And we'll assign materials here in just a second. And let me just do that real fast. So um, under the uh, layers below, that's the interior side. I'm gonna change that to gypsum. So you just go into materials, type in gyp and gypsum wallboard. And then uh, the first layer on the exterior side, that's the organization of it. We'll switch that to plywood. And don't worry guys, I'm gonna keep this up and walk you through it again. So just kind of follow along for a moment. Um, and then the exterior side, again, the farthest out, I'm gonna see if there's a siding. There isn't. Okay, so I'm going to pause with that one for a moment, um, and then I'm going to um, just, I'll show you guys in another video how to actually modify the material, but um, anyway, before I before I set you guys off to actually build this yourselves here, um, I just want to point out that each one of these layers also has a thickness, okay, and gypsum board, generally speaking, generally, is going to be five-eighths of an inch, and plywood, generally for sheathing, um, is three-quarters of an inch. So we're gonna do five eighth on that one and three quarters on this one. So we have to build the wall? Yep. The wall is already built. Some of them are. Right. You do need to set your types. I mean, every wall is gonna be slightly different. So, so you, right. yeah. I thought it was uh, pretty low. Some of them are. Um, in this case, because like a, a siding wall, I, I actually thought a siding wall would be. Um, but it, you get so fast at this, it doesn't take very long for you to do that. And generally speaking in an office, guys, the, most offices have kind, kind of a specialty. So they'll know, they'll, they'll know all of the typical wall types that they use on a day-to-day -day basis, and they'll just have them built and preloaded into your template. So yeah, generally you won't have to build too many wall types. 
Okay. Um, one more thing before I finalize this, and then I'll kind of walk you guys through it all again. Um, these elements under function, you have to actually set them so that they're appropriate for where they are in the structure of the wall. So the core boundary, um, or outside of the core boundary on the interior side, you need to f um, switch that element to a finish. A finish four, finish five, doesn't really matter all that much. Um, and then on the exterior side, you can switch it to a substrate, which is like a sheathing layer. And then the exterior one from that needs to be a finish. Okay, so those numbers help indicate one is on the inside, two goes the next one out, three, four, five, all the way out to your final finish. Okay, so you don't have to use them all. It's just a thing. Um, I know you guys have questions. I am going to go back and sort of review it slowly with you. Um, but what questions do you have right now? None until you do it, right? Okay, I know I kind of lost you a little bit, but let's get you caught up. <laughs>